Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. Real quick, How Live Gamers had a, a fest. Regarding a glitch in the pre-order sales for Hololive Gamers Fest, Super Super uh, Super Gamers section, whatever it's called, uh, please check the relevant post on Nabra's official for a response on the issue that has occurred. We deeply apologize for the in you know the inconvenience to our fans and all that kind of stuff. Says, so, um, let's see let's see what happens here. But they're saying on their post, they're saying we deeply apologize for the delay in conducting detailed investigation into the problem and your order for the delay in informing you of the response. Nabaz has now decided on how to address the issue that has been occurring, so please refer to the, that attached image. Information for customers experiencing problems with the advanced reservation site. Information regarding the event goods on the day, and information regarding mail order sales after the event. And this is another one that they have here. And it has all the information there. There has been nobody that has been uh, translating anything here. So um, we can only go on what Google Translate has already ready for us. And this one says here, it says, um, purchase limit 10 per person can be purchased even if you don't have an event ticket. Although a few people have mentioned it, I'd like people to properly recognize where the problem was. I believe they are doing their best that they can deal with so that it's ha for what has happened. That is increasing production uh, for the sale of the day, but it's disappointing that this has left me with a feeling of unease about the event. We hope that future events will be able to accommodate more people. So yeah, it's basically the, the limit, the purchase limit was an issue. Uh, the 10, they didn't have enough for the 10 people that they were going to do purchases for, that people were going to purchase for. It says, regardless of the people in the headquarters, the people from other companies involved in the event, I guess not everyone understands the scale of Hololive and Nidhi Sanji. It's like a company with 50 Kore Kores and 50 Junichi Kaitos, meaning Kaitos, meaning our 100 people who would blow up the website just by mentioning the name. Yeah, Hololive blows up websites all the time. Hololive makes websites go brr all the time. Sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused by the delay in providing information regarding the site malfunction caused by the high volume of access. So basically, Hololive made it so that the site couldn't handle as many people that were trying to get in there. They just couldn't handle it. And here we have uh, the website couldn't handle the mass request from fans from Hologamer Fest that it got DDoSed and affected some fans' ability to purchase stuff there. Looks like the issue is fixed and details are in the pics, but GD. Uh, where brethren tread, the virtual ground trembles in our footsteps. Literally this. Suffering from success. Yes, Yago is literally suffering from success. He's got he's got all the uh I think this is a DJ Khaled thing, but this is a you know it's, it's a it's a Tanago thing. But yeah, um everyone's like too much power. He has too much power for this. The uh Hollow Life fans have too much power for this. Too much power for everything. This is good for opinion. Uh this is a good opinion piece, and this one is a one from Michimo TV. It says you don't scold people publicly. If you call them out publicly, you were never friends. I agree with that. I'm reading, if I'm reading it correct, is you scold them in private, you let them know the things in private, and you ask them to fix things in private. I always try to fix things in private first. Not everyone does that. People like for uh, for clout and all that kind of stuff, like to do those things out in public. So that's one of those things that does happen. Uh, there's nothing inherently wrong with not being friends, though. You cannot be friends with your coworkers while still maintaining a cordial professional environment. Very true. Uh, they're still being immersing in the idea of everyone is friends, just let them be. It's funny how this will likely be forever relevant to this community, and everyone here likely think of it as an example. You mentioned Millie in your comment, but your brain immediately went to Camilla, thinking Fallen Shadow Shondo over L and using the L God Requiem to celebrate getting 66.6k followers. Mad hypocritical when Shondo never does anything S. Uh, they spend your energy over some real stuff, and yeah, making an L God Requiem, Jesus, that leaves your sour taste in your mouth for Camilla. First thought was the Black Stream. Cough, Millie, cough. Uh, I think anyone have never encountered anything like this before. Did you? They won't as long as... At first, it sounds like she's surprised and worried about Selene. Actually, not anyway. But what she's saying is basically Selene, not management. The problem publicly... I don't know what was her intention, but it was terrible choice of words to make people suspicious. And here's what happened. Apologize, but Madam has private of the song, and then this Millie with the wait what happened. They won't really private something special like this as long as there's the okay. Song was really cute too. Hope things get figured out ASAP, where she pretty much, you know, defended the company. Um, Opie is not insinuating that Michi is saying Millie or Selene were never friends. Opie is just showing that issues should be handled privately. And I agree with that. I agree with that a lot. 
is, you know, you are, you guys already know this, but I agree with that a lot. Everything should be handled privately first. If that can be handled privately, then, then maybe you can go public afterwards. Plus, it's very, it's a very S thing to do. It's a very S thing to do. And usually don't do this S things to your friends. OP then posted the title. Some people need to learn this lesson and OP themselves is calling out Millie. There is nothing being clipped out of context. There is no misconception being presented here. No words are being placed in anyone's mouth. Please check your own rats at the door. Thank you. So yeah, it's basically saying you do these things in private. You don't do these things in public. This is not something that you do in public ever. Um, <clears throat> you don't do these things ever in public because it just will make you look bad. It's an S thing to do. It's a really bad thing to do. It looks like you're just clout chasing, you know, that type of thing. Now with this one, we have Michi Mochi V uh, was saying things to Kuro, being vague, but Michi hammered it home to him good about four minutes in this clip. Basically saying what a lot of us were saying about Kuro when the S with him with Rima happened. Him being vague causes real problems. I also think what he said about being bad at communication is also relevant. That he can say something he's fully convinced that it means he wanted it to mean, despite it being obviously nonsense to an outside observer. I'm kind of that way too. I'm very bad at communicating. I'm trying to get better. It's partly my autism. It's partly just me being stupid. It's a little bit of both. I can't blame one thing over the other. It's a little bit of both. Either go all in or don't bother saying S. You're afraid of saying too much. Then you shut your darn mouth. It's generally shocking how this lesson hasn't been learned. Exactly. Oh God. It I, I talk to like, I think I talk to so many people about this. I feel so bad being like, oh my god, haha, yeah, sub goal or like subathon if it's for me because I feel like, oh my god, read. For what? Sin. I know our job technique requires you had, like, like, you literally had no money for half a year and you were complaining <laughs> every single day. You, you every time you I would just, call like, you, talk without you'd be exaggerating. Like, okay, chat sometimes don't understand exaggerations. I did not complain, complain every day. I was just like, I was struggling, bro. Okay, yeah, like, she was I actually struggling, so that's different. Like, I, have this. I have no money for it. <laughs> I stopped you this in privacy. <laughs> 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 I wasn't complaining about the fact that I had no money. Okay, I was complaining that I didn't have any health, like insurance, and I was sick. That's two different things. My goodness. Uh -huh. That's the thing. Uh, certain things should should be always kept in private. I don't like that Kuro spread that stuff out. She's trying on stream, from what I'm seeing. I'm not trying to read too much into this, but what it seems like, she's trying to be positive and stuff like that. But maybe she talks to him afterwards. Keep those things private, please. You know. Yeah. You know what I mean. Bro, I, I, I am not referencing fucking nice. other shit. I'm, say, I'm saying the fact that you literally were unemployed for so long. Gotta deafen him. See, this is why I get so scared talking to Kuro. This guy's so stupid, I swear to God. He's like, I mean, deep shit. Okay. I won't hear it from her for a week. And then she calls... <laughs> <laughs> no, She's doing it. Kuro does have a loose mouth, it seems like. Holy crap, yeah. man. Well, you were deafened. No, no, I wasn't. It was a Discord glitch. I was literally saying... Thank you, welcome to the sub. Thank you for this... <laughs> she deafened him again. Yay! She deafened him again. For the sub, you guys. Thank you. Bruh. I, t I told I told Mousy this yesterday. Like sometimes I'm so scared of like not scared, but I have to be a bit wary of talking to you on stream. I swear to God, bitch, you don't know when to shut the fuck. <gasps> Dude, I was. Nah. But like sometimes I'm so scared because I said this like you're. I genuinely mean this. You are really like you're really nice and I really like you and you're very sweet. Like Kuro doesn't have any bad intentions in his. Heart, no, it doesn't say they bad had bad intentions. So long, but, like I know it, but sometimes, bitch, you gotta shut the fuck up. Why? Yeah, sometimes you just, Bro, he just doesn't know how to shut up. I was talking about all the cool things you did, like the new hobbies. Oh, okay. Are you literally really? That's the thing. I'm not going to go too much into it, but this is what it seemed. They have banter. Of course, they have banter. And what people have told me about the rest of it is, you know, it's a lot of banter. But yes, in general, that is a good lesson to put out there that, yes, a lot of things should be fixed out in private. This is what this is the the larger clip of everything that was mentioned about being in private, about you know doing things like that, about filter. I don't know about that one though. I mean, it's true. Like I talk about this, and it never gets clipped. The only fair. thing that gets clipped is things out of context. Even if even if in the same sentence you're explaining the context and your actual thoughts behind it, that gets cut out every time. <laughs> I, okay, this is gonna come from like a very out of touch perspective, but it never happened to me. I think usually when people clip me, they always clip me fully. Like, oh no, your clips have been good. Yeah, so far. Like, they never like no one has really uh, unless it's like out of context clip where I'm like, oh my god, guys, I, I have something shoved up my ass once, like out of context clip in a funny way. But if it's in a serious matter, no one ever really clipped me out of context, which I really appreciate. That's what I'm saying. Like with my community, I feel like they're insane and they're trolly, but when it comes down to it, they're very, very good. Like they're very good and they know what like they're just action or anything. But I, I clicked on it, so I was like, what the fuck is this? Because it's from your stream, and then it's a normal clip with no editing for like 20 seconds, and then I go like. <laughs> And then it, it just cuts into Call of Duty zombies. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like oh, right there, they're talking about, you know, things being out of clip. A lot of things out of context are clipped. Yes, that's very true. <clears throat> and I believe 
even Hollow Life went against that. Hollow Life was like, please do not clip our, our our talents out of context because Kiara had a situation. I forget exactly what it was, but she had a situation where she was clipped out of context and it sounded like she was being mean to someone else when she wasn't. The whole context explained everything and it clipped it out of context. She had to actually go to the clipper and was like, please don't clip me out of context again. This makes me look really bad. This makes it look like I am actually trying to be mean to somebody when I'm not. You know, please make sure to keep the context in there. And then she put the context of everything, the clipper, to their to their credit, pinned the comments at the top and responded to it and said, I will, I'll make sure not to do that again. And Hololive had to put something out after that is do not put clips out of context. Make sure the context is always there. Make sure to have like at least a couple seconds before, a couple seconds after. Make sure the context is there because things can blow out of proportion. If it's anything that sounds political, anything that sounds like it's nasty, there are a lot of haters for these people and it can get blown out of proportion very fast. So also, you know, I try to do things that, as well to try not to clip things out of context or try to give you the context if I know about it. This is something that popped out with Hololive in regards to Earth Defense Forces. Hololive is doing a collab with Earth Defense Forces where they have actual people of Ho from Hololive, which is three. It's Iris, it's Kiara, and it's Gura. They have them represented inside of Earth Defense Forces. Uh, here's Takanashi Kiara with the eyes. Uh, Kiwawa, EDF, EDF, KFP, KDF, uh, M Made Mint, which is a good friend of Kiara, as we all know. Here is the actual thing that they put out here. Here's the actual stuff, which, you know, is gonna be looking very, very cute because it always will. Uh, here's, you know, a little bit closer to you. Here's Kiara's, here's Gura, here's uh, the Nephilim uh, of Iris, and here's the DLC, their exclusive DLCs. Powered Exoskeleton Metal for the pre-orders. Of course, pre-orders always get those benefits. Now let's take a look at where they are introduced. Stin. This just in. We have even more breaking news. The EDF announced they will be implementing soldier recruitment decoys. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. go. Yes! For many years, these balloons have decoys. been used for soldier recruitment purposes, but they will be converted to be used for military purposes. To any civilians nearby, please evacuate immediately since these are extremely effective at attracting many aliens, yes. if not soldiers as well. You know what? That's it. Today is the last time I'll be on the air. I'm off to join the EDF. See you on the battlefield. There we go. And yes, it is It is the, the whole thing where they have, you know, exclusive DLC, pre-orders, and all that other kind of stuff. It's cute. It's fun. It's what an agency should do when it comes to their stuff. It's what the agency should always do. Uh, and when it comes to Hololive, and Niji Sanji should do this as well. But this is a big win for Hololive because Earth Defense Force is big in Japan. It's really big in Japan. And it's growing, I think, in the U.S. because, you know, you're seeing uh, a lot of Hololive people playing it, whether it be from Japan or it be from the, the EN side. So this is really good. This is what they should do for their, their fans and also to recruit new fans into the whole Hololive side. Even the, the, re the regular people. The normies, or whatever you want to call them, the ones that aren't into VTubing, could be like, oh, this is cute. Let me check them out. It really helps to have good PR like this. Unfortunately, Niji Sanji doesn't know anything about good PR. All right. This video, this thing right here that you're seeing here, is a debut plus graduation, which is a weird thing. It's been a lot of speculation so far in regards to this person specifically, Amfi. I says, I'll be debuting and graduating on May 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I'll see you all here. This is news, less than speculation, because people are speculating, but Amphi actually responded down below. It, it, people are saying that they maybe already had a community before, and they no longer wanted to continue because of maybe some things in the background. Maybe they got sick. Maybe they just got tired. Maybe they couldn't do it anymore. It's a lot of things, a lot of things, personal things, professional things. A lot of things can cause this to happen. And if a burnout hiatus, it could be a burnout hiatus. So to work first and last, so a whole new level. And then Kana Alice was one that did it for a year. She's going to be doing, she did her debut, I think, already in March. And she's going to be uh, graduating in March. This is Amphi, the actual person. I've been VTubing for almost two years now. And it was very, very fortunate to build a wonderful and genuine community before my debut. However, my life has gotten extremely busy and overwhelming during this time I was preparing for my debut. Due to this, I was streaming less and less until I eventually stopped streaming. During this time, I wasn't streaming. 
I was enjoying my life a lot more outside of the internet and realized that right now, VTubing wasn't what I wanted to do anymore. That is fair. That is absolutely fair. That is absolutely valid. However, I never had made a proper debut and always wanted to have one. Due to this, both for my community and I, I'm still going through with a debut. But due to not being able to continue, have time to stream, I'm also going to be graduating. I want to give back to my community one final time and also give myself the opportunity to do what I always wanted to do without during my V2B time. I love my community to death, and this is something that is mostly for them, not for me. I'm unsure what the comments are talking about for the reasons of me quitting, but I simply just do not have the time right now. And instead of disappearing, I'm doing a debutation for myself and my wonderful community. See what this person said here? It says, ah, hello, hello, thank you for your input. There wasn't much info going around your stream, so I was just curious about it. And that's all we need to know. That's the last word that needs to be said. She doesn't have the time. As she said here, she no longer has the time. She's been enjoying herself outside. VTubing is not the thing that she wants to be doing right now. So that is perfectly valid. And she has let her community know her reasons, which is the most important thing. People, random people like myself and other people out there, they matter to a certain extent. And that's why she put it on her uh, Twitter. But primarily, you're worried about your community giving back to them and making sure that they're happy with the decision that you've made and they get the closure that they deserve. And I'm glad that she's doing that for her own community. I applaud her for that. I hope that eventually she does decide to, if she decides to come back, that her community is still going to be there for her and that she will enjoy herself either way, whether inside or outside of VTubing. Because VTubing can be very, very toxic, very cutthroat. Uh, people stabbing you in the back all the time. There are very nice people there, but you can have people that will stab you in the back and try to publicly shame you and all that kind of stuff. It's the good and the bad you take with it. React, as you know, is an agency that recently had certain threats happen with certain uh, people. They have, you know, they have these uh, short stacks, as you would call them in some cases, etc. But one of their main talents, who is the singer, is uh, Kiasu and Hanabas Hanabasami Kyo, is scheduled for Saturday, May 4th. There, uh, in order to strengthen security measures between the venue organizers and operators, if we ask that you cooperate with adhering to the rules. Locker rooms at the venue cannot be used. Gifts cannot be given to celebrities. Carry-on bags and other large luggage will not be permitted. All food, drinks, liquids, and sprays are not permitted. If you have any, they will be collected and disposed of. One drink not included, optional purchase available. Uh, baggage inspections will be conducted upon entry. Merchandise sales and queues will be held outside the venue. We apologize for any inconvenience that this may cause to our participants. We appreciate for understanding and cooperation. Now, this may seem like an extreme. This may seem like they're going insane with this. But no, you have to re realize that the person that is dealing with this is this one. Hanabasami Kyo. This is the, the artist that's going to be singing. They haven't had any negative things happen to them in general overall. But, you know, things are kind of going crazy with the specific uh, situation that they went through. They have to take all precautions to make sure that the venue is safe, the artists are safe, the people going to the concert are safe. They have to do this or else they're responsible if anything actually happens. So I don't fault them for doing this at all. This is a uh, military tomboy horse girl. It's, it's, a, it's a whole new type of VTuber that I've never heard of before. Tomoe Umari, who is a YouTube Twitch content creator, as I am. And it says, uh, sorry for flailing through the, the COD, Blob stream, Black Ops stream. Uh, and doing this right here, 1420 has been raised to help veterans and military service members so far. Haven't even done a stream yet. Thank you everyone for supporting something that means so much to me. I'll do my best to make this month really special. Please keep spreading the word. What's the word? Hello, happy Military Appreciation Month. This May I'm aiming to raise money for the Bob Woodruff Foundation, a charity aimed towards helping veterans and service members get back to their feet after hardship. As someone recently diagnosed with PTSD, this means a lot to me, so I'll be enthusiastically giving it my all and then some. I'll be under the donor drive team of at Regimen GG, and I look forward to seeing what we can do for a great cause. Below are some community incentives. Uh, for certain milestones. Let's have another fun month together, troops. Here we go. Donate to help support the future incentives. 1500 gets you new unique merch and concept with chat. Drunk critique of classic art. 2500, 3700, the stretch goals. 7500, 10,000 with a wrapping stream. And more if it goes higher. Apple eating ASMR, all for a good cause. Let's go, Tomoe. Umari, Rap God. No, I'd literally die. You know, basically doing Rap God or Godzilla or any of those type of things, it's like it's too much. It's too much even for, for her. And yes, I'm glad that they're doing this. This is another indie VTuber doing wonderful things. Here is their post about a person called Rizera. Uh, let's see, it's 
re Reexa. Reexa. I have been holding off for this for a bit. I really best talk about my negative experience with commissioning at Reexa uh, for my Light 2D model, which I advise against commissioning them or at Senkaiga for work. Don't work with this artist. And here they show the proof. Of course, the proof is in the pudding. First approached Ray X about commission art and rigging for my Life 2D model in March 2023 while they were working under old pseudonym of Ryosha Ryu. Uh, we agreed that it would be put on waitlist in May 2023. Here's what they said. It said, Lucy, thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Would you like to take a slot for May? Doing swell. I just got confirmation that you would be okay taking my commission for June. From June, thank you so much again for accepting. Your work is freaking pretty. I'll leave my commission info card there just in case you have any questions. Yes, please. I'd love to take a slot. And thank you so much again. I can work with you. Thank you very much. It says I've added you to my waiting list in May. So they were going through the stuff. It says on May 26, Reexa message that their current backlog was complete and they would start work on my model. We also clarified that I was commissioning both art and rigging, including the tongue tracking. And the first payment was set in May. According to what's seeing here, it says, Lucy, I'm doing great. Of course, you're still in May. I've been busy IRL for these weeks and finished my commission. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Thank you so much for getting back to me so quickly. And yeah, it's understandable, but oh my God, yes, that would be perfect. Lucy, I'm sorry I can't use my internet yesterday. It happens a lot, actually. May I know if there's anything extra you want? It's all good. And I was wondering if they could uh, tongue tracking as well. Yes, of course, but there's an additional price. 70 plus art and rigging. Is that fine? Yeah, it's good. So they were working on this tongue tracking. And the PayPal invoice number, invoice now, all that kind of stuff. They were working through it. They continue. The first draft of the art was returned to me on June 24th, and I responded with certain modifications that were agreed upon. The next I heard was July 26th after chasing, whereby Reexa updated that they had been in a hospital for the past few weeks. Here you have, you know, them going er through everything. But don't worry about it. Thank you so much for sending an update. Thank you very much. They, you know, they didn't put the full thing there because, of course, it's no one's business, the full thing. It says, uh, bad news, been sick for a couple of days. You can just get an actual uh, pipe and do that kind of there, you know. React said, oh my god, no, your health is the most important. It could have been a fake. It was the first time several de delays that are poorly communicated. And while I was being sympathetic, finding out that they've been in the hospital, it began to be a pattern of no communication. I was backed by increasingly questionable excuses. The next model update came on August 14th. The style of the art had been updated. But none of the previously agreed design modifications have been included. These are by and large rectified by subsequent update. It says, ah, uh, good to hear. Glad you're doing well. But thank you for, uh, it's so pretty. I also mentioned before I said I didn't want the shin pads anymore. As it does not fit with my lore. Super sorry. Uh, I didn't, didn't expect to have to deal with my sickness, etc. And it's perfect for what you want. He was going to do the changes, supposedly. September 3rd, Riexo wrote back, apologize for another long period without communication, offering to add a Life 2D chibi model and rig as compensation for the delay. I accepted the offer. Of course you would. I mean, anyone would. I would. As a guarantee, they would soon start working on the main model rig. And it says, apologize for the, inc the incompetence. Uh, always make it work that way. Blah, blah, blah. Life two, do what you want. A Life 2D art plus rig. Would you mind taking it, please? Uh, not. It's all good. She was being very understanding. Super understanding. Freaking cool. Thank you so much. What are the costs of the chibi? Sorry, really busy with all my commissions yesterday. I uh, appreciate it. And don't worry, I will not charge anything for the chibi. It's kind of like a compensation. It's like, oh, that's cool. Super sweet. Final update of the art. Came in September 6th. Aside from very small tweaks, I was happy with the artwork. However, another month went by with no further word. After which, Rieza asked for a second payment in an already completed but unsettled file. Freaking pretty. I love her so much. Thank you for sending this. Could we also change the feed into more healed boot? Is that okay? Thank you very much. Okay, I'll give another update when the healed boot is finished. And then it takes a while again, 18 September. Uh, Lucy, uh, thank you very much. Start the rigging today. Uh, are you doing well? She checked in October, October again. Lucy, I'm so sorry. The files were already finished a week ago, but I was going to send them today. More excuses. We actually also asked to rework the art and the rigging due to dissatisfaction with their own work, asking for no deadline, but suggesting a February, March end at this point. Almost a full month. Jesus Christ, a full year, I mean. I was surprised by this request, but ultimately did not feel under the pressure to re-debut, so I agreed. On the condition that the demo video for the current rig was sent, this was a few days later, followed by any updates to the design. This was very happy with the work. After further communication, paid the second half of the payment on November 17th. Uh, I want to let you know I'm going to do the rework model. They went basically saying in February and March. Uh, really okay. Unfortunately, I won't be able to send you over the second payment until the 14th. Is that okay? They said, of course, it's okay. Thank you so much. When it's still okay to see the rigging, I uh, sent the, drive, the Google Drive link, which of course we're not going to put here. Uh, thank you so much. Absolutely love the tracking. Uh, I was wondering if the feet could move or step aside when she moves. Is that okay? Basically, a little bit more added stuff. It said the final reworked art was sent through December 4th with apologies about illness, about the computer issues and delay. Despite the time spent, I really like the art. And Reexa, again, promised to start rigging. Uh, it says, sorry, you can't respond. I've had problems with my PC, so he blames it on the PC. Let me know if you have any final revisions. 
Oh my God, I love it. Thanks, amazing. Done an amazing job. I'm really happy with how it looks. Thank you very much. Thank you, I can't wait. Uh, start the rigging now. He's gonna start the rigging now. And then 4th of December to 23rd of January. She waited another month and was wondering what was going on. Next few months, I tried repeatedly to DM him for further updates, but there were no updates to be had. PayPal money, uh, March 5th, opened a case to PayPal to get money refunded. Due to the time elapsed, I was wanting to get second payment back. Uh, Reexa, hope you're doing well. 23rd, 30th of January, again checking. 10th of February, again checking. 20th of February, again checking. And 5th of March, again checking. No communication for four months, so she's going to go for a refund. Other VTubers have commissioned Reexa have had their work sent onto a friend of theirs, SN Kaiga. However, they share Reexa's PayPal, so general consensus is that the same person. I want to stress that this has nothing to do with the quality of Reexa's work. Uh, I, which I liked, I liked, although I never received the finished model, but the dishonesty, lack of communication, I paid, no final delivery, has been frustrating, it's frustrating for anybody. Just wanted to update everyone and prevent anyone else from being caught unaware and losing on time. As a commission artist, I'm not having a stable internet is a huge issue, red flags from the start. Uh, this is not an invitation to harass anyone, just my opinion on experiences that were had. And it says, what is their PayPal info? They have made... They have made, Great VTuber says they have made, delivered entire VTuber. Communication was rough and late, but they were nice. Paid them for a logo. Got one update. You know, people are saying, you know, they're so sorry that this happened. Wanted to update everyone. Try to prevent anyone else from having this issue. Uh, you know, other people having updates. I'm trying to see if there's anyone that has had any other issues with them uh, since the beginning. Since all this stuff is pretty much her responding to herself, giving these things. Let's say if there's someone here. Um, no, there's pretty much the same responses. And up here. We're going to see the, the, the main one going down everything and seeing Rainho, which is this person here, uh, has had the same experiences. This person here, um, Demon Girl currently stuck in space, has said that they've had the same exact experiences with this person and uh, that we have you know here. Says, same issues with him. The model rig was legit. Almost done. He disappeared fully on me. Before that, I missed like 10 late deadlines. I kept giving him a strange excuses, no communication. Sorry to hear so many others were dealing with the same horrible experience. That's super frustrating. I'm sorry you went through this well. I believe someone else is having this problem. I also commissioned them. Other people, proxy, commissioned them. I've been hesitant to say anything about it. I've been so confused because they told me they would start mine in September as well as they haven't. And this person continues by saying, I've been waiting and they last messaged me in January. They would start and have been trying to reach out, but nothing. And they have information here, you know, people trying to reach out. And he was trying to reach out to this person as well, Reexa. And thank you. Let me know if you need anything else. A lot of people have been hit by this guy. I was waiting for someone to post this. Reexa has been ghosting Rainho for months. Uh, it's awful. Second, I can't believe this person attached. Thank you for coming out. It's for so many others. Camilla. Camilla is a big one as well. Um, Rainho is a, a pretty big one as well. Camilla is 67K. She's pretty big. 147K. Rainho as well. Big VTubers are being affected. Not only uh, VTubers who are trying to re-debut, as this person's trying to re-debut, they're still big as well. Uh, but not even only them, it's other people. Rainho, uh, you know, uh, Proxy, all these other people, they know about him now. He is not going to be getting anything in the future. At least not what it seems like. Odin Chan is an amazing VTuber. They do a lot of amazing things. I've been a... Uh, a follower, friend, whatever you want to call it, acquaintance, a mutual follower of hers for a while. I try to raid her when I can. I try to raid them when I can. I try to raid whenever I can. January 3rd, they had a, a whole situation with, as you remember, there was a big earthquake in January. They lost their house, if I'm not mistaken. They lost, you know, a lot of things. There was a depression. They ended up going into the hospital for a bit to get better, which is what you should do. You should go and you get yourself treated. She got herself treated. They got themselves treated. They did what they needed to do. And right here, they're saying there are several things that I've come to understand through my own depression. Depression is a very difficult disease and is often seen by others as just being lazy, which it's not. It's, it's seen by others, but it's not lazy. Even trivial things make me feel unnecessarily depressed and sometimes become aggressive. People around them also reach out to help, but in the end, they often too become exhausted and no one is happy. Is it really uh, right to keep saying the words to be depressed people for mental place if things don't get better for the rest of their lives. The lives of people with depression will become even more difficult, and those who offer help will become more exhausted. However, even if advice is given, encourage improvement is often not accepted by the people with depression. It is a difficult problem. The hardest part is the person who gets the between the depressed person and the people around them. I can understand how people with depression feel. I can understand the feelings of those around me. Being caught in between, I become more and more mentally exhausted. People with depression themselves have a hard time because they feel unworthy of themselves and are worried about the future. I feel that all the time. And the people around them also have a hard time because they do not want to attack people with depression. It's really difficult. I don't know what's correct. The only thing you can do is consult with your doctor and the people around you each time you find the best option. I'm pretty 
cheerful person. So even when I'm depressed, I'm able to logically try things out when I'm on the road to recovery. But my little sister is still 12 years old and in a very immature state. So she's pretty severely depressed. Even though she has just entered junior high school, the people around her are 12 years old kids just like her. There's no understanding about depression. As an older sister, I want to make something, do something for her, but it's very difficult. When I'm at home, I talk to her as much as possible, continue calling cheerfully, even if there's no response. It's so sad, but if everyone feels depressed, it's over, so I'll do my best. Who will take care of the mental health? I shoot guns in Fallout 76 to relieve stress. Haha, -ha. I will do my best without overdoing it. And here's them talking about something, I believe. Depression. Just about depression. That's all it says. But over here, we have continuation of what's been going on. People are saying, you're not alone, Oren. While depression also stops you from living my life sometimes, I think the bravest thing is to respond to just live brave and consciously. You're walking up in your life being cheerful. Our good older sister is being brave. It is very brave of her to do this. And I do think that this needs to be said. And I do think that it's it's a good thing that she puts this out there and is being good to her sister. Fall Guys Lens Stream. This person was looking for a Fall Guys tournament stream where Vox and her were there. <clears throat> Off collabing, uh, they play Fall Guys for a tournament. I couldn't find it in the ragtag archive. It seemed to trace of the tournament either. This person says, update, I was wrong. It did not occur and she implied. My memory was 11 month old stream. Vox was drinking before and during the stream. He did make a lot of threats to Selen and viewers wanting to blank Ike's friend. He repeatedly threatened to blank Selen, got her, stab her. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, when he called out as being empty threat, Vox doubled down that he would blank to blank. Throughout the stream, Vox did say he would jesus christ he's bad holy crap and emotionally manipulate the mothers of viewers that frustrated him while talking to Slam with these threats he used your but it's actually referring to the viewer's family it's a small detail i missed fox did bring up Slam's mother language was toned down this time saying that he would become her stepdad if he didn't stop acting like attention seeking b however vox did not threaten to our Slam's family initially suggested my memory was wrong it was kind of fun to watch the old stream apart from the constant threats congrats to ike for having the fancy sushi place to even try it even, even though I didn't like fish. Original comment, oh, I remember that one, was this one where the Vox was drunk and yelling. Uh, he also threatens to blank in Minecraft. At the time, the joke about I did not feel that time was being too much. Uh, and Salem was just laughing at him to lighten up the mood. That is, uh, like, yeah, people wait, excuse me? Show the clip. Uh, people were saying, you know, the, the clip is a thing. Apparently the stream did get uh, grabbed by route tag, so I went ahead and put it on archive.org. Uh, it's actually there. People can feel free to DM me to notice other streams. Found this archive on her channel. Hope it helps more and more. It's basically he threatened. He made a lot of uh, foul language. He did a lot of foul things to make sure that uh, I guess she felt threatened in some way. That she, she he felt over her in some way. And uh, that's never good. That's never anything positive. Anything to be like yay about. You know what I mean? Um, it's just you don't do that. I've never done that in a stream. I've been drunk on stream before. And I've never done that in a stream, no matter how much people have ticked me off sometimes. I've never done that on a stream. I know how to control myself on that. Drunk, being drunk and being inebriated in any way does not excuse that type of language towards someone who is a collab partner. Not at all. He absolutely sucks for that. I absolutely, you know, do not like when people do that. And, you know, he should should have gotten in trouble for saying that in the in the beginning because he's part of Niji Sanji. So he's a voice for Nidhi Sanji. So he should have gotten in trouble, but the fact that he didn't shows favoritism. And the memes keep coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Here we go. Uh, help, it's me trying to resist the urge to roll for a Selen Pomo voice pack. What is this relating to? It is relating to the bad store launch that they recently had where the store itself was causing a lot of issues uh, where people were buying, I don't know, I guess a shoe pack or you know voice pack or whatever, and they were getting Selen and Zion voice packs randomly. Uh, Instead of their Shu Yamino or their you know, Yuki Wilson or their, you know, Uki Violetta or whoever it was, voice packs, they were instead getting a Slender Pomu. This guy is basically struggling to not uh, be able to do this, not go ahead and do that. It's a curse, gotcha, definitely. Someone on Twitter posted all Slender's voice pack lines a while ago. I don't have a link, though. Maybe if you search, you can find it. Uh, you can have it. I left it all in that place. Yeah, it's basically this meme is, is talking about that, which is, I don't know if they still fixed it or not, but, you know, it's still bad. And holy crap, people are not giving up on uh, Shu Yamino on what they're going to do. Because here, the virtual uh, YouTuber Wiki is um, looking at the May 2024 costume no coat. And they just extended him like Long Cat. He's Long Cat, but with, just with his legs. Shu Yamino is getting really, really memed on up the wazoo, so to speak. I don't know if he's anybody who, who's done anything negative, but the memes will keep coming. Of course, they absolutely will. This is just the way things work nowadays, unfortunately. Or fortunately, however you see it. This is a question I think it's slightly important for you guys. Um, 
Also, I wanted you guys to see if you can answer this yourselves. You don't necessarily need to go to Kurosanji, but you can answer this in the comments down below. What would it take you for deem to deem the Click Black Stream members as innocent from all of the things that they are being accused of? Uh, future graduates make me wonder with the livers that were suspected of being bullies as well as Black Stream members, what would it take you to not consider them part of the Click anymore? Would it take Doki reaching out and clearing them of any involvement? Public statement claiming innocence, blaming the ex-employer, other ex and members showing support and accused, or nothing to clear their names completely. You let me know down in the description in the comments down below. People say, throw the company under the bus, leak every screenshot, every Discord, understand the consequences, improve from them, and for Pete's sake, tell those Hugbox fans to screw off, go to school, and stop letting them control you like that. And this Penny, Annie stuff, shifting blame, whatnot, company is far from saving at this point. Even past actions are coming back to bite them. To change is to clear everything. And that includes talents owning up to what they did. If you actually did anything, yes, own up for it. I think that's what it would take for me. They would have to own up to things that they did, apologize for it, let out everything, any kind of pressures they were in, any kind of pressures that they were under. We need the whole story, in, in opinion. Some people, like this person here, says nothing right now. Doki wants to have less involvement with Niji. So, you know, people aren't going to be hearing anything. Uh, Niji can't say really anything either because they have their NDAs. They have things that will protect them. In this in future, if Doki collab with Niji talent like Fox, Ike, Illyra, it would indicate something, you know, that maybe they weren't the ones doing it, you know, things like that. So it would be hard, I think, for a lot of people to ever be okay with Niji Sanji again and ever be okay with, with Ike, Fox, and Illyra of the Black Stream or people that have been accused of being bullies until, like, they come out with everything. They become a whistleblower. They come out with everything. That's that's for me too. They would have to be like a whistleblower. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.